Ah, we're back. Playing some Rust console. With my man, you know. We are under the alias of, uh... Jiffy, again today. And we're gonna try and have a good time. See if we can cause a bit of trouble. Make some plays. And, uh, yeah. Let's, um... Let's just see what happens. Dome and sewer down south. I don't know. Let's go check out the area. We'll go, we had like launch kind of way. Playing on the same server as Last Wipe currently, so um, I actually have some blueprints. Got some weapons, meds, yeah, weapons, hollow sight, explosive ammo, and good armor. And I've also got uh, bean kang grenades, but no satchels. So, so yeah, we could potentially do some raiding. Yeah, you know is going to be joining us sometime soon. But yeah, we'll try and get a little starter base down or something in the meantime. Get out of it. Hello. Hello. G'day. Check it day. What's going on? Nah, not much. You uh, in, in the game? I am in the game. Whereabouts are you? I am in D3. This dude is the worst player I've ever seen. I just need, I've got a bow, I just need some stone to make some arrows. Yeah, I gotcha. In fact, there's a dude chasing me, he's got a crossy. Oh, I see you, I see you. You see me? Yeah, I'm right next, behind you. Hey! That's right. Mm -hmm. I was at Outpost. And you know how I, I wanted to get a... Um, Dude chasing him. What? Oh. Fuck. What's he doing? Nice. I don't know. He's trying to loot me. So where are we where are we building? What if like that's so if we go to K eleven. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just build there. There's probably going to be a big base there, but fuck it. We just we just roll with the punches, you know. And with just the bows on our backs to protect us and wooden tools to farm with, we set out towards launch site to set up a base. Oh man, we got a long road to get to this build spot. Got something down. Nice, no, there's a dude farming right outside the base right now. Yep. He's farming with a stone pickaxe though. Uh, and it's just like. It's nice. Alright, I'm just gonna do some farming. Get some stuns, you know. Oh, bring your bow and come up the hill here. This dude maybe trying to start a base. Ah, oh, shit! Yeah, they're building right now. Oh shit! Yeah, his bow, his bow. 
give me like give me a minute. I'm like running as fast as I can. Dude, we should we could yoink this base. Are they down by the water or are they? Oh Jesus! He's got a headshot from like a jillion meters away. Holy shit. Fuck. I fucked up, dude. I'm running. I bought mission. There's like four of them, dude. the day because I've showered in the morning. <laughs> You're dirty in the morning because you haven't showered since the night. <laughs> so you, you don't go. shower in the morning? No, no. Just let me finish, mate. <laughs> okay, mate. Uh, Showering's good. I like getting naked and in the shower and cleaning my body. Mate, I didn't hear about your fucking, your naked body, okay? I'm gonna well, go find mate. a better area to build. After that, you know how to jump off, so I set out to find somewhere to build, where we could progress a little bit easier. Since I hadn't found a decent spot to build yet, I decided to stash the farm I yoinked from this guy, which I'd come back to at a later date. And as day turned to night, I finally settled on a building spot, hidden away in the rocks to the east of launch site. Once the skeleton of the base was down, I spawned back at our initial base to transport the loot across. It was a short run, and a procedure that I'm all too familiar with. Farewell, old base.
fuck you. Uh, yeah, I was pissed. But it served me right. The temptation of a jackhammer wielding grub with no weapon was too much for me to ignore. Not all was lost though. I had a bag nearby and my hopes were still high that I might be able to salvage some of my loot. I'd have more luck the following day. Hey. <laughs> Little base is intact. Nice. Let's get this piggy. And then we should wander back, I think. So yeah, we just got to get this uh, this base secure and then we can start getting some components. We'll try and find a rad suit and start running the outside of the launch. So yeah, there's a few little bases around. Nothing uh, too concerning just at the moment. Man, there's so many resources here. It's actually such a good area. It's like right on the, uh, on the edge of like a, I guess a grassy region and a and a desert region, so like biome. So you get the best of both the worlds. You get like animals and you get farm. So good. And then it's near launch. So components shouldn't be a problem. We just gotta, just gotta get established. Not long after, I was doing some more upgrades to the base when I had my first encounter with a player, supposedly from the neighborhood. And surprisingly enough, it was a friendly encounter, even if his mic was AIDS. Hello? Hello? Is there anyone in there? Can we team up? I'm a solo. Hello? Yeah, I'm friendly. Oh, friend. Friend. Hey, man. No, no, it's me, it's me, it's me. <coughs> oh. Hey, man. Don't do a raid. You like a raid? Right. You ladder like a single ladder. Alright, so this one's gonna be a bit difficult then. We just gotta go, I saw this ladder around, um, it's kinda of far away, but let's just go grab it. It has a ladder, so we can get on those kids' roof and. Yeah. That was lying, I'm not a solo, I'm flagging. And it was about at that moment that I knew this kid couldn't be trusted. He just said, I'm not a solo, I'm a five man. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck out of here, dude. Yeah, man, you there? Why'd you leave?
I'm joking. Do you wanna... So, can you open this door so I can get out? Fuck me, dude. What a fucking little rat, dude. Uh, I have no weapons. I'm gonna have to spawn in the aircraft in the Yoka. Hope for the best. So fucking toxic, man. Jesus. Okay, what can I put in front of the door that's gonna slow him down? Fuck. Can't believe I'm potentially gonna lose a raid to this fucking little rat. I was- I got so complacent, man. I was like, uh, no one's gonna fucking come and screw with me. <laughs> if I lose this base to this guy, I swear to god, dude. Sorry, man. Yeah. Ooh! Now you're really gonna fuck you, bitch. Okay, now we gotta seal this base real quick. Now we're really gonna come raid you, he's gonna say. Fuck off, dog. We just need one of these doors to be sheet metal, that's all we need. And it can't be this one because I can't upgrade this because of the, uh, the bunker. How are we looking here? Are we almost 150? We're almost <laughs> at a sheet metal door. He's so mad. He's so mad. I mean, is he a... Uh, I don't know if he's a fireman or not. Like, I don't know if he's bluffing. Oh, dude. Okay. Okay. Hopefully that will give me enough time to get a sheet metal double door at the top. I'm gonna go do some farming real quick. I decided to run the SAR, as I'd already learnt the BP for it on this server. But, unfortunately, I ran into a Thompson dude from another base not long after I'd left my own base. Yeah, that's good actually. So you can put a, I can put a uh, double door here. Wall that off. So this can be a garage door, one for jump up and one to <coughs> go down into the um, main base. Nice. Yeah, it's a good base, man. I like it. I like this design. 
You know what? Like, I should probably actually move my TC because that guy knows where it is. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna swap TC to the other side. How is Yuno still alive? He's actually still alive, just lying on the ground. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's been like 12, 14 hours or something, and no one's killed him. I recognize this guy's name. He lived in the base just up the hill from mine. And since I had just died a decent run away from there, I tried to beat him back there with an Eoka pistol and see if I could make a play. But I'm gonna try and catch this guy as he comes back to his base. Fuck. How was I not ready for that? He was so sneaky. I didn't hear him at all. <laughs> After that, you know logged back in briefly, and the plan was to try and progress to get our tier 2 workbench down. Uh... Okay. <laughs> Dude, I just found an airdrop. M39. Fuck yeah. Oh, a jackhammer? Yeah, boy. Okay. You know what? One of those guys from the island base is currently running launch with a rad suit by himself. Do you think it's worth, like, should I drop off everything and we, like, maybe if we take the M39 and try and kill him as he's crossing the bridge? I mean, if you want. I feel like it's, like, I feel like it's worth the risk. And so, that's exactly what we did. I stashed the additional drop loot and we waited to ambush this guy on his way back from launch site. Now we haven't really touched on this island based group, but they don't add much to the story. Essentially, they were a group that lived on an island just out to the east of our base. And we'd run into them from time to time, but we really didn't see much of them throughout this wipe. No. Um... I don't know where to hide. Am I just in a bush, I guess? Oh, this dude's coming. Oh, I fucked him up. <laughs> fucked him up, dude. M39 is so good if you're not moving, like it's just pinpoint accuracy. You know how to head out again, so I was on my own. I thought I'd try and do the launch slap puzzle with the gear I'd acquired from the island base owner. I was give it a crack. We just need to like get things moving. I need to try and get a tier two. Can't even make like med syringe or anything yet. Yes, sir. Oh yeah. Yep.
Garage door? Fuck yeah, dude. Let's get this home. He had some components too, man. Oh man, we needed a garage door so bad. Man, if we can pull off a red card run here, then like, then we're on a freaking amazing run right now. It all started like killing that guy crossing the bridge with a hazzy. Man, that was big plays. Big plays, getting the wipe going. Yeah, boy. Crates are here. Oh, AK. <laughs> and that's about the moment that I shat my pants. Oh, dude. Oh, there's a guy up here, what the fuck? No, I'm dead. Oh, no, what? What's he doing up there? It's like he was just fucking camping it or something. Damn. AK is so hard to control anyway. I'm gonna run this, um, python. Do you wanna go try and catch this dude as he comes down? Fuck yeah, dude. It was a long shot. But at least I had Yuno here to back me up. Please reconnect your controller. Okay. If you say so. Yeah, I think this guy's already gone. Funny dog. Killed one dude over here. There's two guys here, one with a SAR. I'm on the top of the launch site. Like not not top, like outside. Shit. Oh god, I got them both. Hold up. Oh my god, he's loaded. Okay. Shit. Run. Oof. Oh man, I got so much shit. So much shit. Got a uh, got a rad suit back. Got a SAR. Custom. By this stage, we'd gathered a decent amount of components, but since launch was so heavily contested, we decided to run to the lighthouse to recycle. It was a bit of a trek, but it'd be worth it in the long run. Of course, if we were able to make it home safely. I oh, know there was a boat here before. Oh, 
fish flashing around. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look out. There's a dude coming. Has he? Uh. Uh, oh fuck! Someone else shot me with a bow too. You see him? Someone keeps hitting me with a bow. I hit him three times. He might be down. He's fucking good with that crossbow, man. His mate's probably coming back, so let's get out of here. I can't push this boat in, bro. It's an unusable boat. Just for show. Yeah. Oh, it's fucked, yeah. Okay. Let's keep going. Oh my god, he's such a good shot, man. Did he hit you again? Yeah. He hit me again? What the? This guy hacking. Is that a thing? <laughs> oh! He's actually, Bro, like, he's a he doesn't miss. Nah, I'm dead. He had a shotty, naked. This guy's actually cheating, I think, dude. He doesn't miss. He just headshot me again. He's got everything on me. Custom and all. I'm gonna die. Fuck. Are they still chasing? Yeah. Oh, where's Outpost? Can you look on the map and tell me where Outpost is compared to where I am? One, two, three, four squares away. There's a shallow... If you keep going towards the end of the island, stay on the coast, you'll come to a point and I'll tell you when to cross the water. I'm watching the map now. I'm stressed, man. <laughs> I'll see it. Oh, they're shooting in front of me. Oh, they do. They do scare. Guy behind you. He ran past you. He didn't see you. Ah, <sighs> okay. Then we're good. Man, I, I swear to God, I've never seen anyone shoot shoot the crossy like that. Every shot, like he didn't. I don't think he missed a shot until I was running away. But he had shot me like three times. I was so stressed, the, like, just being chased in this game is so stressful. You know went AFK for a bit while we drove back to base. But naturally, I had to leave him behind when I came across this rib. So I checked his body for loot and continued on my merry way. Which wasn't so merry after all due to the goddamn screen effects in this game. I had to check if you had anything on your body, so I killed you, and then I went to get in the other boat, and I fell in the water, so I got cold. And now it's fucking like, my screen effects, I can't see anything, and I can't even work out where I'm going. So I'm just lost in the fucking middle of the ocean, dying from cold. There's fucking icebergs! The screen effects alone make me angry, but then, when they're so dark that... I'm getting lost trying to drive a boat. Oh, oh, fucking... Jesus. Stop it! Leave me alone. With the scrap we'd acquired from that run, we were able to craft a tier 2 workbench. After that, I began upgrades in the base, which would double as a large furnace base, if all went to plan. I then called up our good mate Snipe, 
You may remember him from a recent video, The Sweetest Revenge. Hey mate. You been playing any Rust? Uh, had a little home with Uno and then I was just fucking around. I haven't played it for like a wee bit though. Hmm. It's actually, uh, the last few updates have been pretty good. It's, it's, it's running way better than it used to. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. <laughs> You're gonna get me hot to good. Oh shit. Here we go again. At our base. Yeah. It wasn't long before Snipe heard an active base nearby, so we checked it out to see if it was our good friend Michelle Talia, the one who tried to con me at the start of the wipe. If it was their base, they were the clear raid target at this stage. Oh shit. Uh, nothing. Oh, wait. So there's three in here, eh? Uh, I guess so. Maybe kill that one. We got a SAR. <laughs> uh, okay, this is the base that I thought they were from initially. That Michelle. Well, I think this is definitely a raid target then. All right, well, I'm off for dinner. We're gonna probably get on a bit later and do a bit of a raid, maybe, if you're down. Yeah. Good. Yeah, good. No worries. We'll do. I wish you just before I jump on then. Yeah. yeah. Easy, boy. Chat right. soon, fellas. Jeffy? Catch lad, you know? Just you know too. Slay a ladder, mate. Oh, Jeffy, Jeffy, it's not. Yep, yep, it's not. Jeffy, you know, yep, 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 nah. Alright, get So, you heard the plan. Michelle Talia, who tried to do me over when I was starting out, had showed their face at a nearby base. And since I already had the blueprint for explosive 556 ammo, it seemed like a simple enough raid. Later on that night, Snipe jumped back on, and we went to scrap a bunch of components at Outpost, which would hopefully give us enough for a tier 3 workbench to allow us to craft the explosive ammo. Unfortunately, Yuno know, couldn't join us, but we knew if we left it too long, these guys would expand, and the raid would be much more difficult. Close seven seven eighty four. Yeah, so we got enough. Five hundred. Five seventy something. Yeah, so we got so enough for just tier enough three. To get that back. Mm -hmm. Off of, yeah. Yeah. Ah, we made it. Let's go. Bad boy crafting. There we go. I'm just gonna see. So I think it's like, I think it's about 60, let's say 70 bullets for a sheet metal door. So we need like probably about 400. Let's see how many we've got currently. Soon after, we went for a sulfur farm to make sure we had enough to get into this base when we came across something that would slightly complicate the situation. All right, I think we're pretty, pretty good. Good to go. Sweet. Let's get this show on the road. <laughs> Oh, you reckon it's those guys from that base going to the island? 
I kind of want to go fight him. <laughs> oh, impulse would be nosy on that one too. You want to do it? I'll just get this there. last last node and we can yeah, get that, get that go check it out. Oh yeah, down on the base at 764, um, down on this cliff. Yeah, there's three of them hanging around. They're sealing it now. Oh, what? I didn't even know there was a base there. Or are they putting down a base, maybe? Oh, well, it might be. That might be their main base. It'd be good to work out if it's them as well. Oh, he's I'm doing honeycomb. He's doing honeycomb at the moment. One's dead. I'm down, I'm down, I'm down. Ah, uh, level three, fuck. Oh, the dude on the roof's one hit. Oh, the bear's <laughs> one hit. That's so bullshit, dude. Did it get you? Yeah, I'm dead. I don't know, I wonder if it was them, surely. It's the only thing that makes sense. I'm gonna go back and die to them. Just keep going, dude. Just wanna confirm that I know who they are. <laughs> I was so low, like, because he saw me, I didn't think he would have seen me. Yeah, I didn't know he saw me either. He just came out and literally pointed straight at your boat. Oh, wow. Alright, he's killed me. The moment of truth. Swag Dragon. Yeah, that's one of them, hey. Okay, so it's not really worth raiding that base then anymore. Should we just like give it a crack and like go across and try and ladder up? Sort of feel like they're gonna they're gonna grab us. Can't say get right now. They're just in the process of moving and securing. Yeah, that's it. Like, and I can almost guarantee they're gonna offline raid us. <laughs> it, like tonight, if we don't get rid of them. Is there a way that we could scope them out so that we can see when they go for a run to launch or something and then hit their main base? Like surely, surely they've moved loot now. We needed some more intel, so we headed over as DB Grubs to see if they were in the process or had already transferred loot to their main base. Couple of DB Grubs. <laughs> I think they're moving loot right now. Oh, there's loot in those boxes. There's a shotgun trap in there. Yeah, right there. Shotgun trap right there. Oh. He's dead. Holy. AK. Get it, get it, get it. Yeah, I got it. Alright, let's go, let's go. <laughs> dip, dip, dip. <laughs> oh man, I got so much stuff. Oh man, they got AK. Oof. <laughs> We're fucking raided. Oh, dude, oh, should we? You, you, oi, oi, to your left, your left. There's Matt, just went past you. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. You guys were like a meter apart then. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. We just get running. Literally a meter apart. I saw him. I thought he was about to open up and he just keep running past. I was going to show you and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> He's probably got his mate screaming in his ear. That's probably why he didn't hear anything. Where were you? <laughs> No way, we're getting the AK. Oh man, we're so raided. <laughs> okay, so, door. like a door. It's just like the longer we leave it, the more expensive it's going to be to get in. We just want to, like, we can just give it a crack. Just yellow it. I reckon. So, it's going to be the more ass. Yep, let's do it. Once that base gets up, they're going to come for us. So. <laughs> That's it. I'll make some frags too. And just like that, it was decided. Either we tried an online explosive ammo raid against the three man, or we stayed as sitting ducks for an offline raid once we logged off. It was ambitious, that's for sure, but we thought with the right attitude, we could maybe pull it off. Yeah, we were wrong. Do you wanna go along the coast? Yeah, bro. In the time it took us to gear up and get the final items ready to raid, these dudes had upgraded garage doors and sheet metal parts of their base. Oh. 
garage door. Is it? Yeah. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, what's the play here? I don't know. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? I don't know. Try and catch him with a door open and. Yeah. He's out there. He's out again. Oh shit! Shit at the at the TC. I'm going down. Oh bro. Oh, I bleed out. I'm behind. You. That's the end. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, that's not your fault. <laughs> <laughs> It's just so shit that they upgraded the internet to the garage door at the time. We should, like, to be honest, we should just, as soon as we saw that, we should just run. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, it was worth a crack. And, like, you know, it was, in hindsight, a pretty ballsy decision to try and uh, take on a three man. It was still a decent, decent attempt. No, I dare say that they're going to come straight back and raid us with that. Yeah, I don't see why they would have. Are you on the outside? Yeah, yeah. Hold up. Your AK might still be there. Hold up. Oh, dude! He just shot me from like a billion meters away and I had a two stacks of Explo. Oh. Now I bet you thought that was gonna be the great triumph, the resurrection of this failed raid attempt. But no, not this story. This story had another turn in mind. <laughs> well, I think we should uh, probably gear up. Get ready. We don't really have anything to defend with, to be honest. Your spear's really rough. Okay, <laughs> rock out. <laughs> oh my god. Yep. It's, it's not these dudes. This is a whole different team. Oh, really? Yep. Geo Wizard. It's a nice team. <laughs> So yeah, it was getting late, and our spirits were pretty low after that epic fail at an online raid. But we took some comfort in knowing that things couldn't get any worse, right? Again, I was wrong. I'm not lying when I say that this might just be the worst sequence of events I've ever encountered during a rust wipe. I don't know where to put this turret. Oh shit! Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up real bad. I fucked up so bad. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, they're in. They're falling. Yeah, I didn't know that that... Yeah, I didn't think. I fucked up. I went to put the turret upstairs and then I, as I opened it, I was like, ah, I fucked up. Ah, Jesus. Yeah, that's the end for us. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. GG's. Oh, what an unfortunate turn of events that turned out in. 
Yeah. Well, we say none of this, you know, he logs on tomorrow. He's <laughs> know about being raided. <laughs> what? No, oh, well, we got off, bro. It was sweet ass. <laughs> we won't tell him anything, and we we'll say we just got raided. And then um, if I ever make a video out of this, you'll be like, what the what? <laughs> oh, I can't believe the TC door was open too. I mean, you know, we still had a good time until the end. <laughs> to be fair, that's probably one of the worst things that's happened to me in Rust. I don't think I've ever fucked up that bad. I probably have, but that, that was pretty bad.